Hello and how are you all today? The question says, David wants to invest at most rupees 12,000 in bond A and B. According to the rule, he has to invest at least rupees 2,000 in bond A and at least rupees 4,000 in bond B. If the rate of interest on bond A and B respectively are 8% and 10% per annum, formulate the problem of LPP and solve it graphically for maximum interest. Also determine the maximum interest received in a year. So here, let David invest rupees X in bond A and rupees Y in bond B. Right. Then the interest in bond A is 8% that means 8% in bond A plus 10% in bond B is the total interest income. Right? And we need to maximize this interest. So, let Z be equal to 8x upon 100 plus 10 upon 100 by or on simplifying we can write it as z as two by twenty five of x plus one upon ten of y. So we need to maximize this interest. Further we are also given some constraint to it. We are given that X should be at least 2000, Y should be at least 4000 and their sum should always be less than or equal to 12000. So 3 inequalities that we have are x should be greater than or equal to 2000, y should be greater than or equal to 4000 and their sum should be less than or equal to 12000. Now, we need to plot the lines x equal to 2000, y equal to 4000 and x plus y equal to 12,000 on a graph paper. For that, let us first find out few points from here. If we take the value of x as 0, we have the value of y as, or let's take if we take the value of x as 4000, we have the value of y as 8000. And if we take the value of y as 6000, then we have the value of x also as 6000. So let us plot these three lines on a graph paper. So this is our required graph. This is the line representing the equation x is equal to 2000. This is the line representing the equation y is equal to 4000. And this is the line representing the equation x plus y is equal to 12000. This shaded region is the portion that is satisfying all these inequalities. Now we need to find out the value of z at the corner points. Let this point be a. The coordinates of this point are coming out to be 2000, 10,000. This is the point at which it's coming and this is 10,000. If we extend this y line and this is 
point B whose coordinates are 8000, 4000. Now let us find out the corresponding value of Z at these two points. Now the value at this point, that is point A, for Z is coming out to be rupees one one six zero, and at this point this is coming out to be one one two zero. So obviously Z is maximum when X is equal to two thousand and Y is equal to thousand. So we have. Thus, Z is maximum, that is rupees 1160, when the amount invested in bond A is equal to rupees 2000 and bond B is equal to rupees 10. Right, and the maximum interest is also found out at rupees 1160. Right, so this completes the session. Hope you understood this graph well and have a nice day ahead.